Good morning, everyone. Welcome to GSC Live Mornings. I'm Pastor Charlie, Rochester, Minnesota. I welcome you, welcoming you to this short time of <clears throat> pondering some thoughts of our faith. Today is uh, April 22nd, the 40th day of our time together, uh, or time apart, uh, under the protection of staying at home, being safe, and protecting others. We'll talk about that a little bit later in, in our time together. This morning I have a coffee mug from Whitewater State Park here in Minnesota. It's only about a 20-minute drive east of Rochester. And uh, let me just read what's on the back of this beautiful cup. Look beneath the clear, fresh waters of Whitewater State Park in southeast Minnesota to catch sight of a colorful Minnesota native. The Brook Trout. It's a beautiful park, has an incredible history. We celebrated the 100th year anniversary last year in 2019. Um, yeah, it's a great park. In fact, there's a little book uh, that I think is available at the park, uh, The History of Whitewater State Park. It has an interesting geological history too. This morning I'm going to read from Matthew 27. Here we go. Now, at the festival of the governor Pilate, it was a custom to release a prisoner for the crowd, anyone whom they wanted. At that time, they had a notorious prisoner called Jesus Barabbas. So after they had gathered, Pilate said to them, Whom do you want me to release for you, Jesus Barabbas or Jesus who is called the Messiah? For he realized that it was out of jealousy that they had handed him over. This little reading is entitled, The Momentum of Sin. The train has left the station, and the momentum is unstoppable. Unwilling to listen to Pilate's protests, the crowd condemns Jesus to death. Jealousy of the authority they perceive in Jesus, those in power hand him over to death. The sin of the world propels all toward a gruesome execution. The gift of the commandments shows the way for God's people to be in right relationship with God and the community around them. There is no denying that the leaders and the crowd shatter these commandments in calling for the death of Jesus. There's no escape from the brokenness of humanity. Sin propels Jesus to the cross and death. Yet God's grace and mercy will be revealed in this brokenness. The shattered commandments make way for the power of resurrection and life. Christ's body will be sacrificed and broken at the hands of humanity. But the sin of the world that propels Jesus to the cross is not the final destination. In Christ, the momentum carries on into eternal life. Some words to ponder. These words from Martin Luther. The import of the commandment against killing is this. In the first place, we should not harm anyone. In the second place, this commandment is violated not only when a person actually does evil, but also when he fails to do good to his neighbor. Or, though he has the opportunity, fails to prevent, protect, and save him from suffer, suffering bodily injury or harm. Martin Luther from the Large Catechism. Um, I chose those words this morning because we are in, uh, obviously, a very uh, difficult time, time of a pandemic, which is a health crisis, a crisis of life and death um, relative to uh, health matters, but it's also a crisis of uh, global economics. And uh, we're in the middle of this. We're here to participate in this crisis, to be who God calls us to be in the midst of this. Uh, this commandment, the fifth commandment, do not kill, has huge consequences, not only for those who suffer and die at the hands of this disease, but for those of us who are um, the rest of the world around them 
and uh, how we are part of the momentum of this particular evil virus, whether we allow it to spread to others or whether we do what we can to contain the evil nature of it. Lots to ponder, friends. Let's pray. Out of life, give us the courage to acknowledge the depths of our brokenness so that we may see the immeasurable mercy of your salvation through the death and resurrection of our Lord Jesus Christ. Dear friends, uh, I wish you the very best day of uh, contemplating how you um, can support life um, not just your own life, but the life of your world neighbors, whether they be next door, or down the street, across town, or on the other side of the world. God bless you and keep you.